Let's do some news! My name is Mike B. A.K.A. Phony. Today's date is March 27, 2020. The time is 3.08 p.m. It is a Friday. And I am joined today by Uncle Chat. Uncle and Auntie Chat. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Hi, everybody at YouTube. We don't do news that often anymore because, well... Because it's all the fucking coronavirus. Everything is a, is the coronavirus. Every, it's, it's occupying every single thing that we do. Uh, and so I just didn't want to talk about it last week. And that's going to happen a lot. We're just, going to, we're just going to wait until big shit happens or actual gaming stuff happens. Or we'll get on every once in a while and just kind of catch up. And I'll talk to you guys about, you know, how to manage your, uh, how to manage your relationship at home when you're stuck at home with your significant other that you married. That you married. And you decided you wanted to spend the rest of your life with this person. And somehow you can't spend two weeks together. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. Just a little tiny bit. All right. Probably echo some of the stuff that we talked in the, uh, the last, uh, last episode. But, you know, I just feel like it needs to be said. Uh, the new dear uh, allowed edition of news. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, out of respect. <clears throat> I didn't ask for this. Uh, <laughs> this wasn't in my vows. <laughs> Divorce lawyer is gonna be crazy cashing in. Oh, there's gonna be uh there's gonna be a huge boom. Obviously, we're gonna have a baby boom. Uh the coronials the, or Gen C. So that's gonna be a thing. And then and then at the same time, there's gonna be a whole bunch of um a whole bunch of divorces, I'm sure. Uh, and what's what's funny is I saw a tweet. I saw a tweet, somebody said that there's gonna be a baby boom. And it's going to be all first, you know, firstborn children. And a lot, a lot of people didn't get it. They didn't get, they're like, why, what's wrong with being a firstborn? Blah, 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 blah. And it's, it's pretty obvious why it's because parents who, oh, well, cause okay. Well, kittens like a parent, if you already have a kid, then you know better than to accidentally make another one, uh, <laughs> simply because you're living at home with that person. And also it's implying that you don't get along with your, your significant other, so you're stuck at home with your significant other and, you know, you're not, you're not necessarily in, 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 in any, you're not in the throes of passion when you first meet and everything. You're fucking every opportunity you could possibly get. You're just mad. And so usually that happens after your first kid, apparently. I don't really have these issues. We don't have these issues, thankfully. I just want to make that clear. Like Jen and I have absolutely no issues like this. But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, that's the joke is that, you know, you, if you're married and you have a kid then you probably don't get along with your significant other, probably. And uh, if you're stuck at home with them, you're probably not having sex just, just at random, and you probably will not accidentally make a kid out of it. So that's the joke. That's the joke. There we go. Um, <clears throat> now, <laughs> I'm expecting malpractice lawyers to go nuts as well. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be a mess. If we ever get out of this. <laughs> We're going to be social distancing forever. Thanks, Dad. No problem, son. Uh, I was told there would be jokes. <laughs> Uh, there's no chokes. This <laughs> is yeah, fuck. Well, let's start with let's start with GameStop. The biggest news. So let's let's rewind a little bit. Uh, last week, our last last episode, we I believe we talked a little bit about about GameStop and how they picked up they picked up Reggie, Reggie from Nintendo, and everyone was like, oh maybe maybe they also had some uh some new stories that they were uh redoing for their or retrofitting for a new uh experience i guess in tulsa they had like three stores uh terrell i believe who who swings by here usually around this time uh he had i believe he checked one one or two of them out but throughout this whole thing they insisted on staying open and they insisted on staying open through uh well basically as long as they possibly could to the point to where they're actually being threatened in some states to have their business licenses uh removed yes you're spoiling shit <laughs> they deem themselves as being essential uh this there's this tweet here let's use a tweet instead of the article here it says holy shit video game retailer gamestop just sent a memo to all of its staff telling them to keep their stores open even during state lockdowns to tell law enforcers that it's okay because they are essential retail uh they are essential because they had a shitload of pre-orders some of the actually some of the, the the biggest sales that they've made in a long time 
uh, March because of Doom and Animal Crossing. And so if they had to close early uh, in order to, you know, abide by the statewide, you know, uh, shelter in place and, and shutdown notices, they would have probably potentially lost millions of dollars. And so, yes, the essential part was exactly era they're to their bottom lines. Yes. Two, two percent. Yeah. It was a two percent increase in sales, which, which for them, after having a relatively, you know, failed year, they were down hundreds of millions of dollars in overall, I think, uh, uh, revenue. They made $21 million in income, I think, uh, net income last last quarter last year i can't remember it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter at all really because um <clears throat> because they're going to be permanently closing 300 stores <laughs> and i you know it's it's i i said it i said it yesterday we we're playing alex before we started playing i said yesterday i said uh that they are they're not going to open up again you know i mean i fucking the second that they were they were going to close i knew they weren't going to open again like they're not going to open again like that was it like that was that was going to be it for probably i thought it was going to be the entire uh the entire company was just going to go down but 300 stores is pretty significant they um they still have you know 5000 something stores i mean these guys are like 711 they have tons of stores all over the place but 300 stores is nothing to shake a stick at. Like, that's a pretty big deal. And honestly, I feel like it's going to be a whole lot more. Uh, and it even says here, GameStop has announced that it'll be closing over 300 stores this year as part of its ongoing effort to de-densify. The news comes way of GameStop's news earnings call, which also featured a comment from the retailer about a possible PS5 and Xbox Series X delay, uh, which, by the way, Microsoft and Sony have both explicitly stated that they don't have any news to share as to whether or not the uh, these consoles are going to be delayed because of the coronavirus. But we know they're going to be. Um, according to GameStop, it closed 321 stores last fiscal year, bringing its total store count to 5,500 locations. There it is. Uh, that said, according to the company's CEO, George Sherman, there are plans to meet or possibly exceed this number during this fiscal year, which means they, there will soon be many GameStop employees out of a job. Um, What's funny is, uh, you know, their, so their software, their software sales, you know, about, like games or whatever, were down, uh, down on their last, in their last call. But their, what was it? The only the only business that was just kind of staying afloat uh, that was basically just trending, like just uh, 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 was what was it? Uh, all of their bullshit that they sell on the side. It was all like the the random accessories and the stupid like like you know Funko Pops and all that. Like that was the one side of their business that was just going flat. You know, like it was like four percent or something like that. Well, everything else was down like twenty percent. <laughs> so, so yeah, they are in a. Uh, oh, here it is. GameStop posted a net income of twenty. All this stuff is here. I didn't have to memorize it. Uh, GameStop posted a net income of twenty one million dollars. Uh, however, as the last fiscal quarter. However, for the full fiscal year, revenue was down twenty two percent to six point four seven billion, which translates to a net loss of four hundred seventy point nine million. That's where those numbers came from. Um, so yeah. Game topic, ah, like hot topic, exactly. Uh, don't tell me. <laughs> don't worry, they have their. Uh, they, they still have their handout for a slice of that bailout money soon, probably. Mice and keyboards are essential now, and headsets. I'm sure that my, uh, my mouse and keyboard like sets and headsets and monitors, like that's something that uh, you know, Isad Vosnik uh, on um, on Twitter, he he made a comment to me, and he said that. Uh, that he has all these extra monitors and people are, are want to basically borrow them because they're, everyone's working from home and people don't have a multi monitor setup at home. They just don't. So people are are like you know looking to their friends to try to get it's like hey man you got <laughs> you got some of them extra monitors. <laughs> try to get you know some some kind of real estate so they can work more effectively at home. Um, yeah, everyone should. Yeah, exactly. Everyone should. I have a monitor that's sitting right there. That's not doing anything. It hasn't forever. I had two of them sitting there, but I decided to put one inside the camper and we're not going to use it in there. But hey, we have a TV in the camper. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I'm over here hoarding monitors like I can. <laughs> I'm over here hoarding monitors like I can wipe my ass with them. Um, but GameStop definitely had a... <laughs> I'm just trying to like visualize that. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, but yeah, uh, GameStop has been trying really hard, was trying really hard for a minute there to like just basically ignore all, all of the calls for them to close. And, and then after after Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing closed, that's when they are um, uh, dropped. Then they then they decided to go through and and, and close on their stores. Uh, speaking of wipe your ass, uh, just so you guys know, I did I did try the bidet today for the very first time. I did we did pick up a bidet. We did uh, try it out. And I got to tell you, shit is cold. 
It is cold. It is not. It is not comfy. It's wet and cold. It was a surprise. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like uh, you know, you take that first sip of coffee and you're like, mm. you know, you you you're just like, mm. and so it's kind of like that, but it starts in your butt, not in your mouth. <sighs> you done goof? Hey man, we got it for free. We got it for free. <laughs> <laughs> my mother-in-law bought it and she like left it here like just a long time ago we never installed it like a long time ago it just sat like i'm never i'm not gonna i'm not gonna install it today when we do that i got toilet paper <laughs> my mother-in-law who plays the stock market like like by like crazy who apparently has lost a lot of money doing it right now but uh um you know maybe she had some insider info or something like that she's like you're gonna need this like how does she know uh but yeah it, it's uh I will tell you, it does a good job cleaning. All right. And I know, I know we're not here to talk about this, but I want you guys to know that a bidet is worth your time and effort if, if toilet paper is out of the question. All right. So there you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Even with the extra clench, you know, what? it's, it's, uh, I've only tried it once. So I have to try it a few more times before I, you know, like, but right now, if, if I had the option between toilet paper and, well, actually, if I had to be, what the fuck are we talking about, man? What the fuck? No, listen, a bidet, it works, okay? Sprays your butt, makes it clean, okay? We're done. We're done. Moving on. Speaking of shit, Epic Science Play Dead Remedy and Gen Design to publish new, for new, a new publishing deal. These are the makers of Control, I think, uh, uh, Limbo, actually, it says, uh, yeah, Limbo and The Last Guardian. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you something. I made a comment. I, I said that Epic, that the, the holding a grudge against Epic, I've said this like a, like a month ago or something like that, a couple weeks ago after all this shit started. It's like, it seems really petty right now. It seems super petty. It started to seem pretty petty after the new year. I was like, what the fuck am I doing, man? Uh, but it seems super petty now. And this, this actually, uh, is a step in the right direction for me. So it's publishing, but the catch is that the developers get to keep their intellectual property rights. And that is a big deal. This is, in my opinion, this is Epic actually setting themselves up to be the, uh, to, to, to be a, uh, what is it called? To basically be on the side of developers. You know, like with publishing deals like this. So this is, yeah, this is a huge deal. Um, and this is a huge positive thing. I talk a lot of shit about Epic Game Store. Yes, I do. But this is a, uh, this is a big deal for game developers. I mean, even Lord Gaiman says Epic is good because it now requires Steam to more frequently check themselves. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, Gabe has got a huge monopoly on everything. So I don't really think he cares. <laughs> It'll take a very long time, if ever, for Epic Game Store to, 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 dethrone which that'll probably never happen um but yeah do they have a car yet i actually don't know if they have a cart uh still exclusive to egs yes still bad well no 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 this is this is not the same as them just buying a game and just putting it on their platform like this is them being the publisher for these games uh which also means that they can publish to wherever they want uh and the game the develop developers get to keep their intellectual pro intellectual rights to whatever it is they develop and that's a huge thing like that is a very very big deal like there's there's game devs who basically have to sacrifice the shit that they've worked on to the companies uh like EA or whoever they go with for a publisher um what <laughs> i'm not even clicking on that <laughs> uh -huh, you didn't sell me on the link there lack uh but yeah no this is uh this is this is Potentially good thing. Potentially good thing. Honestly, I'll probably install the shit because I want to play that uh, that that arena shooter they put out that like no one's talking about because people don't like arena shooters. But fuck them! I'm gonna play that shit myself. <clears throat> uh, let me see. You know, with uh, well, let me see. Let's go to well, Nintendo Direct. Nintendo Direct happened. Looks pretty newsworthy. Oh my god. Oh man. What am I clicking on here? What the? F I can't even see this thing. What even is this? I have a like, what? It's a donkey. Is it, is this in Animal Crossing? Is it Animal Crossing? It's a picture for ants. I know. 
No? What is that? What is that in? That's RimWorld? Sorry, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell by the pixels. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> uh, are, are there no are there no donkeys in 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 Animal Crossing? Is there none? Anyways, anyways, anyways. So in other news, uh, well, Nintendo Direct happened. Speaking of speaking of Animal Crossing, Nintendo Direct happened, and they had a, a Nintendo Direct Mini that came out, and all it did was basically let me refresh this page here because it's got a video here that's gonna try to play. Don't you fucking play! Don't you fucking play! Every time. Needs TV like Enhance. I <laughs> know. Enhance. So they had a Nintendo Direct Mini. I have not watched this entire thing. I actually went through and I read the headlines here. Just kind of see what they were talking about. I have not had 20, 28 minutes to spare since this thing came out. Maybe I could have watched it last night, but I was not in the mental capacity to watch anything. I was too busy trying to play Oxygen Not Included and take my mind off shit. Uh, anyway, so they are bringing uh, a number of, uh, what do they got? Bioshock, actually it's over here. Uh, Bioshock, Borderlands, and uh, XCOM 2 collections to Switch. So that's a big deal. Um, with that, uh, with Borderlands, it's, uh, Borderlands and Bioshock, this is like Ultimate Edition. So it's going to include like all of the, um, all the DLC and all that stuff along with these. So, uh, with Borderlands, uh, I, 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 if, if I recall, like Borderlands has a shitload of DLC, isn't that correct? I believe so. Uh, <laughs> sometimes that's the case too, man. You got personal time, you got to spend it somehow. Uh, but XCOM also on Switch is a person personally to me. That's like okay, maybe now I should go ahead and try it out because X because you know those turn based strategy games are things that are are the types of games that translate really well to portable because you could just take your time you can put down the switch come back whatever like it's a very it's a very passive game that you could just play uh whenever you want it's probably it's, it's actually very border borderline um mobile game really <clears throat> which is why turn-based strategy and and um games like that are very popular on uh on mobile period so uh yeah bioshock borderlands and xcom 2 are coming to the switch uh also a a collection of games let me see if they have a thing tabletop classics which is 51 games in one. And it's set up in a way that you can basically lay down your Switch, where they're gonna show you in a video in a second. You can lay down your Switch and play using a touchscreen. Uh, it is a, an obvious concept. It's kind of like, well, duh, of course. Of course this is what you do. Uh, it's a concept that we've seen on mobile a bit. Uh, it's a surprising one for the Switch because despite the Switch having a touchscreen, fucking nobody uses it. Like, even in the very, very obvious parts of games where it's like, that, yeah, there's me touch screen. Ah, there's no touch screen on this thing. Yeah, oh, it's touch screen? I know, exactly. What? <laughs> <laughs> touch screens are the worst. Oh, man. Uh, oh, come on, Dad. Come on, get with it. <laughs> but yes, they, they are going to have a um, 51 games. I was watching this and I was like, I can't watch. There's all the, half these games I haven't even heard of. War, I know war. Uh, <laughs> yacht dice, I don't know what yacht dice is. D yacht dice. Uh, spider solitaire, no idea. But you know, there's 51 games. Surely there's something here that you like. And then bowling, like there's a ton of stuff. Oh, wait, stock car racing? Hold on a second. Okay, I'll do that. Where's that at? That's like some Mario. Mario Party's got stock car racing of some sorts. Uh, is it is the light version? Yeah, yeah, touchscreen. Touch, yeah, the, the Switch Lite has touchscreen. Uh, and so obviously so does the Switch, of course. Um... Just install tabletop sim. I know. You know, I told I told uh, my wife, I said, because uh, she was talking about playing Bop It. You guys know what Bop It is? It's a small, it's a small, like, handheld game that's about the size of, like, maybe, like, a, like an Xbox controller. And it has, uh, it has a, like, a pull. Yeah, it's a Bop It, Twist It, Smack It, or whatever. So it's got, like, a big red button or something. And then it's got, like, a, a twisting knob. And then on the other side, it's got, like, a pull like lever that you could kind of and so yeah it's simon says the commands exactly and so the musical play is like bop it slap it something right like it's yeah it would just say like random things it's like yeah it's simon says with uh with commands uh and so jen was like yeah everybody everybody at her work they, they want to play a game together and she was like you know everybody happens to have bop it i guess and makes it for us we gave ours away for some reason so i guess we gotta get another one but she was like yeah we want to play bop it together and, and drink because you know this on uh, you know when you're when you're at a startup every friday you just drink all day did you guys know did you guys know that you guys didn't know that did you uh but that's what they do and so i told her i was like you guys just need to all get tabletop simulator and then just have all the games and they just never have to worry about you know 
<laughs> about games, period. <laughs> like just, <laughs> just get tabletop simulator. We play together. She was like, no, that's the same. And I get it. I get it. They don't want to get everybody to download steam and install it and uh, play a game, whatever. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you mean I shouldn't be drinking on Friday on office. If it's not a startup. Yes, you should. It looks like a Nintendo controller in R and D. It, <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of have an interesting look to it, doesn't it? Uh, it also, you're getting a Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, but we knew this already. They announced it last September, I think. Uh, that's going to be coming out with um, uh, uh, on the Switch. And, you know, I, I, I never played Xenoblade. I, I've never played anything in this. I mean, I guess what sets Xenoblade apart from other games, if somebody correct me if I'm wrong, because I know you guys have probably played some of these games more than I have. Um, but uh, is the customization uh, element of it where like in most in most like JRPGs and just like RPGs in general, uh, where it's kind of a basic kind of a retro kind of setup, like something looks like maybe it was done like a Super Nintendo with like a smoothing filter or something like that. Um, typically, you don't really have a lot of control over what your character looks like, even in a game like Fell Seal, which is a modern you know, a turn based strategy game. Uh, even there, you, do, you don't have outfits or anything. You really change the physical look of your character outside of the um, uh, outside of like maybe you know basic armor or like you know your face or something like that um and so in xenoblade you could actually you could customize basically everything and change the entire look of your character and that to me like that sounds great so that that piqued my interest <laughs> i mean i do like rpgs uh but yeah i mean not being able to customize your character didn't really seem like it was a problem before because nobody really did it that much and so like that's an option um, too bad they don't have transmog. Oh, is it not a transmog type setup where you could change the way things look like cosmetic, but also still have the ability to, uh, uh, to, to use the stats from something else. Interesting. Interesting. Can you hear, can you hear the stomping back and forth? The kid is like running laps. He's like doing zoomies or something. Uh, OG wow style. I see. Code vein gives you plenty. You know, the name itself tells me a lot and coming from you. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a new expansion for, uh, Pokemon. And also, and it's down here at the bottom here, but it's a free update for Ring Fit Adventure that I want to show you guys. It's their take on uh, sort of a, a Beat Saber. Oh Ring my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. There we go. We'll turn that off. So basically, it's got a little bit of a Beat Saber element to it uh, because there's really not a whole lot of stuff to support for the Ring Fit. I made a comment yesterday saying that I feel like the Ring Fit basically died off, but, um, but no, they're still doing stuff for it, I guess. There you go. I, I, I would, I wouldn't mind this at all. Yeah. I mean, I have VR. It gets, it gives me enough of a workout as it is, uh, as, as you know, as you guys have seen this past week, we have, uh, um, been playing, uh, Alex. Oh yeah. Here you go. That's what I want to point out was that in, in, in this, uh, um, what is it called? It's just, oh, well, it's part of ring fit adventure. Okay. I thought it was a separate title. Uh, but in this update, you can, you can, you know, do like beat saber type stuff to like other game songs like, you know, Mario medleys or, uh, uh, Breath of the Wild and such. So I thought that was pretty cool is that they're, they're, they're including their own music. I mean, and, and they do have a lot of great music, iconic music. And so they're including that in there as well. So, <clears throat> so cool stuff. If you have a ring fit, uh, there was one more thing actually in here somewhere. I thought that I wanted to point out, but nope, I don't see it. Uh, I on life. No, yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. I'm oh, sorry. God, this kid's like stomping all over the place. Uh, I look at that and I just don't want to play it. <laughs> it's, I, I, yeah, it's very, is it very tiny? Is it really hard to squeeze it? Like, what's the tensile strength of that? Like, how much, how, how hard is it to squeeze that thing? Is it like a steel plate? Like a steel, like, thing? Or not steel, but uh, is it like some, like, what is it? Carbon fiber or something? Like, what is it made out of? How heavy is it? Pretty sturdy plastic. Oh, it's not very hard to squeeze, but it wears on you. I see lead. <laughs> lead has a negative, negative 36 uh, uh, degree Fahrenheit on the melting point. <laughs> uh, it's plastic. Okay, so it's just, uh, and it's hard to squeeze. Okay, I could see, I could see that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you don't necessarily need a ton of weight to get anything. Vibranium, that's what it is. <laughs> Admantium, good luck with that. Uh, um, let me see. Well... In other, in other COVID-19 news, people are hosting weddings, classes, and more in Animal Crossing. 
I guess because there's enough people to pull this off. Um, I don't know what the max number of players you can have in a given area in uh, uh, in Animal Crossing. I know one of you guys can. But uh, while maybe coming out with Burning Crusade servers. Oh, really? Oh, it's a survey they sent out. Yeah. Eight players. Okay. Um. Yeah, so eight players. So yeah, it's, a, it's a fair amount to get a couple people together or whatever. But yeah, people are finding some really creative ways to... I guess just to like stay in communication with folks uh, throughout this whole thing, because in a lot of parts of the country and the world, uh, you know, people are in a shelter in place where they they're not really allowed to go to, um, you know, to go to work or to go and, and see, you know, whatever <clears throat> you're, you're looking at the story. on. Oh, you're looking at this story on Reddit right now <laughs> or the uh, yeah. Um, and so people are getting like super, super creative with different ways that they could get together and spend time with each other. Uh, you know, it's, it's even, even here at the house, you know, we, we have weekly, uh, zoom meetings with, uh, with Jen's family here. And so we'll get together and we'll just get, you know, a zoom meeting and have like Jen's, you know, sister and, and her parents and, and we'll just, you know, talk and shoot the shit for a little bit. Uh, it's actually really interesting talking to her stepmother because her stepmother is the director of uh, one of the major hospitals out here. Um, I don't know exactly what the job is, but I think I made the comments. Oh, is she like Cuddy? And and the answer was yes, she's like Cuddy. So if you don't know who Cuddy is, house. If you don't know who house is, then I don't know. I can't help you. I can't help you. You're you're lost. You're lost. Uh, but you have plenty of time right now to catch up. So go on. Uh, so yeah, she's basically cutting at a local hospital, but she, she is not even going to the hospital. Now. Everything is basically all done on phone. She's on the phone from seven o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock at night. Um, yeah. If you don't know what that house is, get out. Get out. <laughs> Lupus. Uh, does anyone ring any bells? <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah it's really interesting like sitting down talking with her and just kind of get an idea of like what it is that they're dealing with um you know like there's a couple of hospitals out here that they're they're at capacity like 50 percent capacity uh of just coronavirus patients which is insane you know especially given the fact that we're not, we're not even testing everybody um the more that we test the more that we find out it's like oh yeah no this person it's not pneumonia it's COVID 19 uh, it's wild. Actually, somebody, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of a, of a, a subreddit called wall street bets. It's a, um, it's shit. It's absolute shit. Don't go out of your way to go there, but it's basically, what are they? They describe themselves as 4chan with, uh, with bloom, a Bloomberg terminal. And I like to describe it as 4chan with Robin hood. Because uh, I feel like that's a more accurate statement for most of these guys. Yeah, full of idiots. Yeah, it's total. It's it's great, but it's full of idiots. It's not. It's not for the faint of heart. There's definitely a lot of stuff there that is wildly uh, politically incorrect. But if you could see through some of that and see some of the information that they spread and just kind of like how they communicate and everything, some of it's pretty funny. Um, but the uh, one of the guys there is probably dead from the coronavirus, and uh, he was the WSB god. Uh, that's what that was his name. And he was posting daily that he did get coronavirus and he's a ship, just a shit poster on Twitter. And then he disappeared uh, after one of his tweets or one of his uh, comments was something along the lines of like, every, when I breathe, he's like, when I breathe, uh, it sounds like my lungs are cracking. Like I hear the crackling in my lungs when I breathe. I can't wait for this all to be over so I could go back to smoking that good kush. That's almost verbatim what he wrote. And then, uh, and then that was the last thing he wrote. So, uh, or the last update he put, uh, he put out on the coronavirus. So on his symptoms. So this shit, I, I, I mentioned when this first started happening, uh, what, like uh, six weeks ago or something like that on the news that, you know, this is, this is something that is going to continue to, you know, affect people that, that, you know, or not necessarily that I didn't know who WSB God was, but I'm familiar with wall street bets. Uh, and <clears throat> can we go back to talking about bidets? I know, <laughs> I know. Is he smoking the heavily cushion out or maybe? Fuck, but it's it's a very real thing, man. It's going to be impacting. I mean, I said before, it's going to be impacting you know celebrities, people that you know. Uh, I don't know any streamers that have caught it or anything. Uh, I think that by virtue of our um, just how we conduct business, it, we're less likely to catch it. You know, so maybe that's the reason why you haven't heard of too many streamers that had it. Have you guys heard of any streamers or anything like coming up uh, catching coronavirus? Because I have not heard anything. Um, as they just says, now that celebrities are getting it, it's getting real. Is that what he said? <laughs> oh, man. 
I'm a man omni, what up? Uh, mixer caught it. Oh shit. My friend got it from his coworker who got it from his wife. Yeah, and that's that's a common thing, you know? That's you 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 catch it from somebody who caught it from somebody else who had contact with somebody or just whose nose how they got it. Maybe they maybe they touched a handrail or something like that and then like wiped their nose. Don't touch your face. That kind of thing. Uh, I heard a guy on YouTube, but he also has a normal job. Well, there you go. So yeah, it hasn't really hit anybody that I know personally but it has hit people that i know um like through online stuff you know like not well hurt it's hurt it's hit people that uh, uh people who know people that i know right uh one so one degree of separation and so like we hear about it like in our discord i'm not gonna call anybody's name because it's their own private stuff they want to share in discord and that's fine but um you know in discord you know there's a couple there's uh there's somebody who was talking about just the you know, last night or the other night uh about some of that they know that uh, that caught it so it's a very real thing like it's definitely going to be impacting you know people you know close to you potentially so you know be careful wash your hands all that good stuff please uh the biggest <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on a second i gotta ban somebody there it goes um oh i didn't ban him damn i'll we'll get him next time uh what a stupid thing sorry you guys can't see it but uh, automod pulled something out real quick for us thank god i didn't show up on screen jesus uh you're fine top you're fine you're still here you're fine it was some random person just thought that'd be funny oh there it is there it is. oh i'm so glad thank you thank you john it makes it so much easier uh, 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 uh. oh god woovy you're so fast thank you woovy Thank you for showing your face, John. Got us, got it easy to take care of. Thank you guys, appreciate it. <laughs> oh man, um, what are we talking about? C coronavirus. That's right. What else are we talking about? Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. Oh yes. So Razor. Razor. Uh, you know the 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 keyboard. Bounce manufacturer make webcams and such too laptops stuff right uh they have actually said they're switching from uh, from keyboards to surgical masks razor converts production lines amid covid19 outbreak no word on whether they'll come with chroma lighting <laughs> but yeah you, this is happening as well like there there are <laughs> i didn't read the tagline before but uh but yes so a lot of uh a lot of manufacturers are switching uh to or at least at least adding the ability to uh, you know to manufacture uh, what is it called PPE, so personal protective equipment, whether it's you know gowns or or masks or whatever they are, they you know people are switching in order to help benefit the the community because in places like New York, for example, that needs like thirty thousand uh, ventilators, like absolutely needs they need support, and it's it's a manufacturing issue where it takes time to make these things and then you know, uh, and then, and then get them, uh, sent out and everything. But if everybody is manufacturing these things, then, you know, then it's a better opportunity or it's, it's people will get them more quickly. An RGB respirator. <laughs> it's uh, all I'm thinking right now. It's like, you know, those like rave masks and everything that, that you see with like the, the, the stupid teeth, you know, and like, they're always holding like smoke bombs or something like that. in like an abandoned alleyway, you guys know those pictures. You've seen those pictures. Same shit. Yeah. Yeah. Those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> where are the where are the N95 versions of those? <laughs> uh, the Borderlands masks oh, are they are they in Borderlands too? I don't know. Um, it's a uh, but yeah, it's totally a thing. It's just stupid pictures. Uh, RGB respirator would be fine until you realize red means you're dying. It wouldn't be great though. Every time you breathe, it like kind of makes like a like like kit from uh, from Night Rider. You know that little like three LED thing. Shh, shh, shh. That'd be fucking sick. It's gonna happen, man. Uh, Formula One teams are now producing vents and such for the UK. Yeah, see, that kind of stuff is awesome. Like, it's great to see manufacturers, you know, come together and start to manufacture PPE for, uh, you know, for various needs, whatever it is, whether it's masks or or uh, gowns or respirators or whatever, just stuff that people are gonna need in order to protect themselves. Uh, link the breathing mode lifts to the respirator cycle. Link. <laughs> just give me a Darth Vader helmet. Yeah. Uh, oh, dark! Did you get a Did you get a picture of it? Let me see. Not that one. Not like that. <laughs> but yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that'll work. That'll work. Never forget your 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 PPE. You down with PPE? Uh huh. Oh man. Well, 
Well, listen. Can your marriage survive the coronavirus? <laughs> Can it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, it can't. Oh, man. Next question. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. Um, yeah. It, it. Listen, this is serious. All right. You know, I'm staying at home with Jen and, you know, we have our frustrations, uh, not with each other. And I think that's, 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 that's the, one of the important things is that, you know, you, you communicate with each other. So that way you can, uh, uh, work out your problems. Cause this is a frustrating time for everybody. If you're working from home and you're, let's get this stupid article off screen. Uh, if you're working from home, uh, and this is, even if you're living with your mom, all right. Even when you live with your mom or your dad or whatever, or a roommate, this applies to everything. Okay. This is not necessarily marriage related. It's about communication. All right. Communication is important. Uh, instead of letting, instead of having things get pent up and getting upset about something that you're blowing up and just like rattling off all these things that you're mad about, like talk about the things as they happen. Talk about the things as they fucking happen, man. Uh, marriage is you and your parent versus the problem, not you versus your partner. Yeah. It's, it is a, it, it, it yeah it this whole thing is, is is a is a this whole situation that everybody's in is something that we have to work together in order to get get through even mentally right we have to understand what the other people in our vicinity are dealing with mentally if they need mental breaks uh you know jen jen actually brought up something earlier she said that she doesn't have any personal time. Jen has not led the, I leave the house to do all the scavenging and killing of zombies and whatnot. And then I come back with our, with the bounty, right? That's my job. Uh, Jen, Jen doesn't leave the house. She hasn't left the house at all uh, in the past, like two weeks or so. And so for her, you know, she doesn't have, you know, any personal time to do anything. And, you know, she, you know, for me, it's like, I have personal time where it's like, I stay up late and I, you know, and, uh, uh, and I, I sit here and I, I veg out, man. Like I need opportunities to sit here and just fucking veg out and just play Ox not included, which takes my mind off of everything because you can't think of anything else when you play it. Uh, and just relax. I'll watch Altered Carbon uh, or some other random TV show or Starcraft. Just have it off to the side and play Ox not included. And I just check out of life. And so she was like, you get the opportunity and I don't. And so, you know, she was really frustrated this morning. And so we, we talked and I said, I said, maybe you should just stay up later. Like she, she's used to going to bed at eight 30 and then she'll wake up at five 30 to get, you know, or five o'clock to start getting ready to go to work, but she's not doing that now. So now she's, you know, it's, I was like, you could wake up at seven instead. And like, then you could go to bed an hour and a half later at night. And then you could just, and, and you could just stay downstairs and just hang out and do your own thing and have that personal time the same way that I do every night. Uh, before, you know, the, the evening time, oh, hi, babe, talking about you, I, my ears your ears are ringing. ringing. Yeah. Hey. Do I want to? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Um, Chaz says they love you. I love her too. Um, but you know, it's, 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 it's about communicating those things. Like she, instead of, instead of her, like just, you know, of, of holding that in and then like waiting till I fuck up and then unleashing it on me. And then all that anger go, gets put behind some stupid shit that I may have done, you know, uh, you know, she communicated to me that she had these frustrations. And then, you know, I tried to do my best to help her because, you know, we don't fight, but like, I don't want her to be frustrated about anything. And so I tell her, it's like, yeah, I want you, I don't, I want to do whatever I can to help make you less frustrated about stuff. Um, and that's important. And it's not just, it's not just, you know, your wife or your husband or your, your, your S whatever your S whatever. Like it's, it's your roommate. It's whoever you're living with. It's about communicating those things. Uh, I'm not carrying mail for 10 hours a day. My wife has been stuck in the house for two weeks with two kids from lack of work. Sucks to be her. Yeah. Although, yeah, yeah. Communicate that shit. Give, give her an opportunity. To, like, just, just, just give her an opportunity to do her own thing, Joe. I mean, I know I, I'm, I'm just as an example, right? Um, in your situation, you get to go outside for 10 hours a day because it's your job. Um, and so you get to go outside and smell the fresh air and do whatever. Right. And so if I was in your situation where I had an opportunity to go outside every day and do all this stuff and my, my significant other was at home, stuck at home, just basically taking care of the kids or dogs or whatever, uh, I would say, hey, let's carve out some time for you to go do something on your own. Maybe go for a walk, maybe sit on the backyard uh, or the porch or whatever, like just go, go somewhere and do something. Can't go anywhere crazy, but at least, you know, go outside and, um, 
and go for a walk or something like that. I'm noticing a lot of people are going on walks. I walk Donut every day. Donut's doing great. Donut's doing like fantastic. It's weird for him because everybody's home, but nobody plays all day, right? Because we're all working. But um, but he does get a lot of walks now. He definitely gets a lot uh, a lot of more a lot more walking time. Um, and so yeah, it's it's you know everybody's outside walking and kind of getting that out of there. They're using that to be able to get some of this you know pent up you know up well just basically being stuck at home kind of shit out of their system. Uh, does going outside turn, turn on your car so the battery doesn't die count? Yeah. You know what? Go outside, sit in your car, uh, preferably somewhere where it can breathe and, uh, <laughs> uh, turn on, check to make sure it starts, play the radio, you know, play, uh, play your flavor Spotify mix, play, play whatever, and just relax. Oh, like maybe that's something you need to do. Oh, Hey, Ira, I forgot to turn off alerts. Thanks, Ira. <laughs> Feeling the one on your face is refreshing right now. It is. Please go outside and get some fresh air if you can. Um, it's you know, it's important. You know, like, like I said, you know, communicate, communicate. That's the biggest thing. Just communicate. It, it sounds so silly. It sounds, and you hear it all the time. Well, why don't you guys work on your communication? Because that's the shit that really works, man. Uh, you know, I have my frustrations. I tell Jen, I'm like, hey, man, I'm feeling really anxious today, and she'll, you know, give me a big old hug, and she'll try to help me kind of work through it and everything, and then, and you know, I'm fine. Uh. And she's helped me work through a ton of things because I just tell her what the problem is and she helps me, you know, work through it and vice versa. And, and so, yeah, just go out of your way to like, to be there for whoever it is that is in your house and they will go out of their way to be there for you. I promise you that, uh, people finally freaking out here in South Dakota. We're hitting, uh, hitting your status like what, three weeks ago. Um, I, I would say, I would say New York is about, well, we're in a pretty interesting situation here because we've been a shelter in place for a long time. I think probably longer than New York and New York, I think waited a little bit too long to go on their shelter in place and lock everything down. And even then they're still not totally locked down, but for the most part, I think people themselves have, um, uh, have, uh, uh kept themselves to the house. So, you know, New York is way ahead of everybody in terms of, in, in terms of, uh, cases and everything. And, you know, I think just earlier today, the LA, uh, LA mayor said that they are, uh, about two weeks behind New York. I would say wherever we are here in California, if you live out in the boonies or something, you either won't really have a significant impact before this thing ends, uh, or you're probably like maybe, you know, a month or so behind everybody else. So shelter in places for air raids is, uh, this is a lockdown. No, no, they call it shelter in place. It's called shelter in place. Uh, and <laughs> but yes, you're right. They they do call it for for air raids. Yes, sure, sure, sure. Uh, two weeks behind in terms of uh, what the exposure looks like f for wherever you're you wherever you live. Um. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is the 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 this is the tweet. I didn't realize he really said this. This is becoming very very real. Prayers to Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. Oh, there you go. So he did say that. Okay, cool. Um. I mean, Boris Johnson got it, which I know, I know some of you guys are huge fans of Boris Johnson. So that's, uh, that's a pretty big name for, uh, for a lot of folks. Oh, hi, babe. Oh, what is this? Oh, is that a marg? Oh, is that a picture? <laughs> Thank you, babe. I guess we're, uh, <laughs> oh, is that a tube? <laughs> Marry her again. <laughs> Here you guys go. <laughs> no wonder you love that woman. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Our marriage will definitely survive the coronavirus. I've, I've no ish. No, no, no. I'm not worried about that at all. Oh yeah. Um, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Kool Aid Man. <laughs> it does. Look, it's got a B on it. You see, it's got a B. And so do these. We have got these for uh, holidays. Anyways, we gotta wrap up this news show. Then we'll just we'll hang out for a minute. Um. So yes. Just talk to your significant other or your roommate or your mom or your dad or your uncle or whoever the fuck you live with. Just talk to them. Just talk to them how you're feeling. Tell them that they can tell you how you're feeling, how they're feeling. Uh, give them space. Now tell them to go outside, go for a walk if they're stuck inside all the time. Go outside, walk. You don't need a dog to go walk. Just go walk by yourself. 
uh, put on some music and just go smoke a joint and go walk around, drink, get drunk, walk around. I mean, you know, maybe those are the, the last two. Maybe, maybe it just kind of depends on how well you take those things, but you know, but yeah. So that's it for news. Not a whole lot of news, but uh, I figured we get that. We sit and we talk for a little bit at least. Now I'm going to go and continue drinking with, uh, with chat here, but for everybody on YouTube land, thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate it. Uh, chat. Thank you for hanging out. Please continue to hang out. We'll be here for a minute. And uh, run around naked with a rat in your mouth. Yes. <laughs> Grab the headphones of the new Nin album. Mm, it's okay. It's just our, it's, it's all ambient stuff. You know what? With the new Nin album, the, it's ghosts, right? It's all supposed to be instrumentals and everything like that. Uh, I feel like that this kind of stuff, Trent, can, Trent could, and Atticus Ross could just shit this stuff out, man. It's like, no, there's no effort for him. They, they could just make this kind of stuff like constantly so while it's good it's cool it's just not uh it's not surprising anymore it's like cool yeah trent could do this it's chill oh yeah no i mean i was chill as fuck like last night listen to it over here on the couch with sunday land on my chest and just listen to the whole first uh ghost five i think uh that was a good one to listen to just kind of chill out it's good but uh but they, yeah exactly they really do just shit this stuff out it's kind of it's no it's no no big for them or oh, play tool instead there you go so, yep, uh, have the good rest of your whatever you guys are uh, working on. And uh, if you guys celebrate Cesar Chavez Day on Monday, enjoy your day off. You get to stay home. <laughs> uh, how shitty that the people who normally don't get those days off don't get to stay home because they typically have to work those days anyways. And those are also the same people who are deemed essential. So they have to work, period. So, fuck, man. Uh, yeah, Monday's a holiday. Um, but, yeah, have a nice rest of your day. And I'll see you guys.